we're doing okay so all right we are doing great so far so we're gonna hop now into the next question after this quick water break okay there we go so it's gonna be quite a bit of steps here as you can probably see it's about writing some chemical equation and then bouncing it out based on its molarity With that being said, let's get right to it. Question number six. So first is asking us, because there's a lot of text, I'm gonna leave the question on this side, okay? So we have to write a balance, a chemical equation between H2SO4 and KOH balanced, okay? So that's the A, and that's called a neutralization reaction. So in a sense, what's happening is that there's a base being added to an acid to neutralize it, okay? And then B, we're now dealing with uh, limiting reagents and seeing what happens when this is mixed together and how much is left of each one, okay? So it gives us quantity, that's 0 0.650 liters of 0 0.430 molarity H2SO4, which is sulfuric acid and KOH is potassium sulfate just to be able to I mean wow sorry KOH is potassium hydroxide okay so with that being said we have 0 0.600 liters of 0 0.240 molarity of potassium hydroxide okay so first let's balance the equation okay so H2SO4 and KOH and it says it produce water and potassium sulfate. So sulfuric acid plus potassium hydroxide. Okay, it's gonna neutralize to water as they said, plus potassium sulfate. Now you're probably wondering why I put the two there in K2SO4. It's because potassium, all right, can usually just give up one electron. All right, so in order for it to bond with the sulfate, which needs two electrons, because the sulfate ion needs two electrons, that's what we need there. And the biggest hint is because of this hydrogen here. So with that being said, actually, what we have to do here is first we're going to have to um, double the amount of potassiums we have, so that's two. KOH there, all right? And so now we have 2OH minus, and we conveniently have two, whoops, and two more hydrogens, okay? So that being said, we can actually now form 2H2O because there should be four hydrogens in total and two oxygens. So that would be the second two right there. So this would be how you balance that out. So now we have our balanced equation. We can now assign the variables to them as they said. So we have 0 0.650 liters of 0 0.430 molarity. We have 0 0.600 liters and we have 0 0.240 molarity. It's important to note the liters because when it's mixed together, we now have a new total concentration. I mean, sorry, a new total um, solution which is a volume, there we go, new total volume, which does affect our concentration. So 0.65 plus 0 0.600, we have 1.25 liters total now, okay? This is gonna play into an effect later. First, we need to find out how many moles were in each one, okay? So if you remember our formula, we have, all right, Molarity is equal to moles over liters. So if you want to find the moles, it would be moles is equal to molarity times the liters, okay? So we have now 0 0.430, all right? So that's going to be this one right here, times the 0 0.650. That's going to give us our moles, okay? So with that being said, our moles of H2SO4 was 0 0.2. Let me use a different color. 0 
I'm going to repeat the process here for the potassium hydroxide. All right, so we have 0 0.6 times 0 0.24. Okay, and we get 0 0.144 moles. Okay, so right away we can definitely see how the hydrogen, I mean, how the sulfuric acid is the excess and the potassium hydroxide is limiting. We actually need two for every one. So if we only had 0.144, it can only react with really divided by 2, 0 0.072 of the H2SO4. In fact, our ratio right now, instead of it being even the 1 to 2, is going to be if we just divided the um, this by that. So right now it's 0 0.2795 divided by 0 0.144. Right now the ratio is actually inverse. It's almost a 2 to 1 ratio. And that is not something that we want because that means that this is way in excess because it's literally the opposite of what we actually needed. So that being said, now that we know the excess, we know how much KOH is going to react with the H2SO4. Like I said earlier, it's a 2 to 1 ratio. So if we have 0 0.144 moles of KOH, what's going to happen here is for every 2 moles of KOH, there's one mole of H2SO4, sulfuric acid. So you have to divide that by two, which will we get is 0 0.072. So with that, that means that this right here, the 0 0.2795, is gonna lose only 0 0.072 moles, okay? So that means we're gonna have what's left, let's see, 0 0.2795 minus 0 0.0072 we're going to have an actual a whole 0 0.2075 moles left of the sulfuric acid okay after this neutralization so this is not a complete neutralization because we still have a lot more acid left but based on just what we're giving that's how much moles left but it doesn't ask for moles it asks for concentration so that's probably where we get to use our new liters value okay as this concentration formula says, molarity is moles over liter. So that divided by the 1.25 will give us our new concentration, okay? So our new M for our sulfuric acid is now 0 0.166 molarity, okay? So sorry if the work is all over the place, but the goal here, just as a quick recap, is that first, after we balance out the equation, we assign the values right under them, okay and then we're able to now calculate the moles for each one we use that to see which one is the limiting and which one is the excess based on the ratios from the balanced equation and then based on that we're able to now subtract um, how many moles was actually used from the excess to see how much was left of the excess and then when we got the amount that was left in moles we then divided that by the new volume created by mixing those two volumes prior so that is what we got. Hopefully you can see the steps here. They bounce on the equation to have two KOH and two H2O. And then they have this 0 0.2795, 0 0.144. Yep, zero, sorry, 0 0.2075. And they divide by the new total of the water and they do get 0 0.166 concentration. So this is perfectly done. This is correct. Now let's move on to question number six.